come to life. Born being told that he would lose, but still battle to win against insurmountable odds. His nickname is Rain for a reason. Let's welcome Toastmaster Daniel Rain Billings Sr. and his conversation piece. Sentence to death. Fought to live. I have no rationale or reason for being up here except for the fact that uh, I'm Mr. Gavin and Ms. Bunny want to grow and evolve. Chairpersons, fellow Toastmasters, and the guests that are not here. <laughs> I was sentenced to death. Not in the reason that y'all thinking, so don't check to see if your valuables are still available. They're there. In another manner of speaking, I was sentenced to death. I was born with kidney failure. One kidney not working, the other kidney only working 50%. As I got older, that one kidney that was working 50% just deteriorated more and more. Not only that, but I also found out that my bladder was no good. At birth, I died three times. Mm -hmm. Complete flat line. They told my family that I would not be live to be 10 years old. They sentenced me to die before I turned 10 years old. I had already died three times. <laughs> they wasn't gonna tell me I wasn't gonna make it to 10 years old. <laughs> so I had to grow up fast. My family tried to fit my childhood in as much time as they possibly could because no one was expecting me to live, especially since I had already died three times. My mind said as a kid, all I wanted to do was two things. One, be a fireman. Two, play football. Nobody told me as a kid that with my health issues, I could never, ever be a fireman. And I found out later on that I could never, ever play college football. But I put everything I had into football. While most of my friends were inside watching cartoons or playing games, it could be raining, it could be cold. I would go outside and practice football. I like one fella, Toastmaster back there, who didn't want to get bit by dogs. <laughs> I was pretty slow when I was younger, so to get faster, I had my friends have their dogs chase after me. <laughs> so I could build up my speed. <laughs> I wanted to be good at football. <laughs> Even if it took getting bit in the butt by a dog. <laughs> Life was rough. Every other month, I was in the hospital, like clock. If I was in the hospital in January, February, I was home. March, I was back in the hospital. April, I was home. May, I was back in the hospital. With my bladder being no good, I was told that I would have to wear pampers for the rest of my life. I used to have to carry to school every day a two and a half, three foot thermos, a bag with my books and stuff in it, and an extra bag with changing clothes and pampers and baby wipes to school every single day. Imagine doing that as a kid. Imagine other kids finding out you have to wear pampers and your mother has to come to school to change your diapers a couple of times a day. Not until I got in the fifth grade, they came up with another solution for me wearing pampers. How many people in here heard of a colostomy bag? I have the opposite, it's called the urostomy bag. Unlike you guys, when y'all have to go to the bathroom, y'all can feel your batter filling up. Me? When I drink, fluid flows right through. So without the bag, I would still be wearing pampers today. I have a bag on my stomach that I have to live with for the rest of my life because when I had my kidney transplant, they tested my bladder, said it was no good. That 
only way that will work is if I had reconstructed bladder and they would have to do it every two years in order for it to continue to work. Now, today, I am still fighting to live. I died three times at birth, but I've died six times in my life because of my kidney failure. I've, I've been taking medicine since birth, and I will take medicine until the day I die. I've been seeing doctors since I was born. I will see doctors until the day I die. My fight did not end because I got a transplant. My fight had just begun, but it was a new fight because now it was an outside presence within my body that my body was not used to, and now my body is trying to fight it off. So any day, at any moment in time, that kidney could decide, I don't want to work no more, and I could end up either dead or back in the hospital on that. <clears throat> but I have a son, and I'm a single father. I have dreams and goals. So every single day I wake up, after getting two to four hours of sleep, <laughs> I wake up and I do as much as I can within the day because I don't know if that is gonna be my last day. I don't know if I'm gonna see tomorrow. I had friends who were willing to give up sports because I didn't score enough points. I didn't make this many yards. I don't want to do this. I wish I could do that. I wish I could say, oh, I'm going to die before I turn 10. Let me give up and go get a new life so I can live past that. I'm looking at them like, what are you wanting for? Work harder, get better, do what you're going to do, move on. I can't go get another life. I can't go get another kidney and not have to take medicine to see doctors. This is my life, but I have to do the best I can with what I have so I can see tomorrow. I don't know what day is gonna be my last day, but I'll do as much as I can today for me so that tomorrow won't matter to anyone but the person I did for. And that person is not me. It's my son. Thank you very much.